Hey, just a quick short story today. This is a really cool invention I wanted to share with you guys. It's coming out of Rice University in Houston. Now a team of researchers net led by Neelam Singh, a graduate student at Rice University, have fabricated a really cool kind of battery that you can actually paint onto a surface. Now I'm sure you're all familiar with batteries. They pretty much are all fabricated the same way. They're sort of a uh, material of some kind, a cell containing a chemical reaction which produces electricity, and they're often rolled up and then placed in a hard case, and that hard case with some nodes on the ends are used as batteries. Now, how this new paint on battery differs is that it's actually five layers of paint, uh, special paint of course, not just your every everyday paint you buy from the hardware store or whatever. And this paint will actually act as a lithium-ion battery, which is a rechargeable battery, for those not familiar. It's not exactly the same as a lithium-ion battery, but it's very similar. And it will store, so far, up to six hours of electricity. Now, it can't really run your cell phone or anything impressive like that. It can only about power a small group of light bulbs. Uh, I've got a picture coming up so you can take a look. And it produces uh, at a steady rate of 2.4 volts, which it's not a heck of a lot, but considering this is just a proof of concept and a in brand new technology, it's actually really exciting. And one of the applications they've thought of using is actually um, in solar panels. So basically you would have a solar collector and then the paint, the, uh, the battery paint would be sprayed onto a ceramic material and it would sort of be sold as like a tiling which is just sort of a one little idea they had, which would, would be a lot more efficient than having to sort of uh, set up collectors to batteries and then having to feed off directly from those specific batteries. It's, this is just a lot easier and simpler to do, not to mention being able to just spray on a battery is a lot e quicker and faster than actually constructing one because, if you're, because we actually you know use a lot of airbrushing in the industrial process already. So it's really effective and uses a lot of the tech we have right now, and it's really exciting, and I hope it's used a bit more in the future, and actually I've got some cool images to show you guys so you can sort of see what it looks like in action. Now these images can give you a little more of an idea of what this all looks like. The left images, especially the top left one, can give you a sense of the scale of this, and the middle ones are from the demonstration that was done. They're actually a bit these cells are a bit larger than the ones on the left and that uh, sign, that little rice sign, is powered by a group of light bulbs running on about 2.4 volts. That sign was powered for about six hours on the battery cells they have right now. I know that might not seem that impressive but you have to realize this is a brand new technology so it's basically taking its baby steps right here. And you can also see that the, the different surfaces that this battery can be sprayed onto a metallic surface in the top right, a ceramic one in the bottom right. And one of the long-term goals of this project is to possibly get this done in areas that are outdoors, sort of like an outdoor spray paint thing. Right now it actually has to be, it needs to be applied in a relatively dry area so the paint will set properly. But uh, the researchers are working on ways of making that a little more easy to do in a more practical setting.